So I literally ran downstairs. I have a hankering for barbecue. I've been craving it all week. So I thought, you know what? We're doing barbecue indoors because it's going to be snowing by like five o'clock in a few hours. So we obviously have a cold system coming in. So we're going to show you how to barbecue indoors and we're going to try out some sauces at the same time. These are sauces that I got. Uh, you can't see. Come in close and I'll explain it to you. But first, before you come in close, take a look at these. Don't forget to check out my merch store. Um, there should be a merchandise shelf underneath the video that shows you my new shirts for 2022. Uh, it's got my hats. Uh, it's got bags and stickers and mugs and a whole bunch of stuff. So check it out, all right? But in the meantime, my mouth's watering. I really need to bite into a rib. I don't know why. You ever get that hankering? You just... You're just craving it. And I'm not going to go to a restaurant and spend like 20 bucks for a rack of ribs that would cost me between 5 and $10. So uh, be smart when you shop for your ribs. Always go with the pork ribs. Don't go with baby back. I always say the pork ribs, you get three times the meat that you do on baby backs and you pay half the price. Trust me on this one, guys. All right. So let's get started. Now you can come in close and take a look at what we're looking at. So a couple of days ago, I did a survey on the internet, all my social media. I asked them which one of these sauces they would think would taste the best. Some said the peach. This is the peach one. Some said the watermelon. Now I've had watermelon barbecue ribs and they just don't taste the same. So I'm hoping this jar might taste a little bit more watermelony. Is that a word? I don't know. So we're going to try this one out. I got this for Christmas. I got this. I got them all for Christmas. And then most of you picked this one. This is the Smokin' Mocha. So I'm pretty excited about this one because you guys are excited about this one. So we're going to, what we're going to do is, I don't know if either of these two are going to be good. So they're going to share a rack of ribs. This one was the champ that you guessed would be the best. And I'm giving it its own rack. We're going to slather up a whole rack, okay? So let me get all the meat out. Let me get it started. And I'll show you uh, what we're doing. So here's one of the racks. We're going to do the same thing with the other rack. But I'm only going to show it to you on one rack, okay? We're going to take, um, get our salt. Salt it up. Make sure we're going to... All right. Then... Uh, we got our garlic. Then if you get lazy, you just go across. Just sprinkle it on. There you go. All right. And I do the same thing with my onion. So let's be lazy and sprinkle our onion on. Okay, guys. So as you saw, we season with salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. Then we pour it right down the middle with the peach barbecue sauce we chose not to use the mocha didn't smell right i didn't want to risk a whole rack of ribs with a sauce that i don't care for so this is all peach we spread it out with a spoon and we're going to cook this wrapped for two and a half hours then we're going to unwrap it break it open so that it can cook for another like until it's 190 195 i pull it up 195 that's about it and they should be wonderfully delicious so this is what I recommend. It's gonna be a little messy. You might spill a little bit, but I recommend you go around so you don't burn yourself with some scissors. Now it's all exposed. We can put it back in for cooking. These came out great. You can see all the bones on the side. Let me turn this around. Look at that. See the bones? I need to see the bones so I can cut this because I like I don't want to cut right down into a bone. But the bones came out great. They're showing just enough seasoning. It's sticky everywhere. It's beautiful. You can see. You can see look at what ready? Can you see that? Watch. Oh my gosh. They're so juicy. This is the watermelon one. I've got the peach one finishing up in the oven right now. Let me cut these and see how they all look. 
I got two ribs. Remember, watermelon is probably going to be better than the peach, but we're going to try them both. Are you ready? Let's try the watermelon. That's gonna be hard to beat. Let's try the whoops, let's try the peach real quick. Here we go. Mmm. All the sauces I bought, even the one I didn't use, the smoke and mocha one, they're all the pepper palace. You got a pepper palace, try it out. In the meantime, watermelon wins, but the peach one's really good too, so I'm just gonna snack out on this stuff. I got tons of ribs. You guys wanna come over? I love you guys. See you on the next episode. Bye bye.